Our photojournalist Brian Titsworth, he drove around all night last night looking for damage, and right now he's near Emory, that's just north of Canton. And uh, Brian, we thank you for bringing us this picture. Tell us what you have seen overnight and, and what you're seeing this morning. Hey, uh, hey uh, good morning, Marcus. Uh, yeah, just really, at night, it was really hard to see anywhere. I mean, everything was just totally dark up here. No lights, no electricity, anything. But I tell you, since the sun's come up, we're really starting to see a lot here. This is actually uh, Highway 69 here in Emory. And if you can see, uh, I'll pan over here. This is what's left of a home uh, here on Highway 69. I'll tell you what, Marcus, let me go off the tripod here. Let me take you guys over here. We'll get a little closer look. These folks are just driving uh, here and taking a look as well. Uh, as you can see, uh, just really total devastation. This is a home of three people, I'm told, by, by Sean, uh, her daughter and uh, her husband and their uh, younger daughter, uh, seven-year-old, uh, lived here. Uh, you can see this is the house right here. It was over here on the foundation. It was lifted up, picked up, and slammed right here out on their driveway, right here by the highway. And obviously, you can tell from these pictures, I mean, just utter devastation. This house is pretty much a total loss, and really, they're just trying to pick through and see what they can find. I'm told by, uh, by Sean that uh, her granddaughter was upset that she didn't have her softball uniform, but I'm happy to report that they did find that, so that's a, that's a good thing. I did also speak to, uh, just briefly, with the uh, Raines County, uh, County Judge, Judge Wolf, and he tells me that Wolf, uh, 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 Raines County was spared uh, anybody uh, getting hurt seriously. This uh, neighborhood here across the street um, no one was, was injured other than maybe a broken arm, I believe. But uh, really a blessing that no one was hurt that bad here in this little community uh, of Emory. Um, as you can see, uh, uh, Sean's daughter's home is uh, really obliterated. I mean, there's nothing left. Uh, they've got neighbors out here. Everybody's kind of consoling each other, uh, talking about what was left, um, you know, what, what they did and, and, uh, and how things uh, just really came to be as they are now. Uh, I was going to take you guys across the street here. If you guys want to take a little closer look here, let me check both ways. Well, there's some traffic coming, so I probably won't do that. Um, but anyway, as you can see, this is the path of the storm as it crossed Highway 69, uh, just north about maybe 15 minutes of Canton. Uh, this is that same tornado, that same cell that ripped through uh, this whole part of the county uh, here in Raines County. Uh, but happy to report no fatalities in this part uh, of North Texas. Back to you, Marcus. Yeah, that's our Brian Titsworth there live near near Emory where he's showing us some of the damage to the homes there and you will see the debris and we've also seen pictures of people who have gathered, uh, presumably the people who lived in this home and their friends and relatives just beginning that process of trying to understand what has happened here and then somehow begin the process of putting their lives uh, back together. And we also know, not in this area where Brian is, but we know that there have been some deaths reported in other areas, so uh, a different mood there.